So a big part of, of bringing a puppy home, it should happen before, what you should do should happen before you bring the puppy home, right? So we're gonna start off with uh, preparing for your puppy, right? So this is one of the things that a dog trainers would give their eye teeth if they could get people to prepare for a puppy before they got the puppy, right? Do a little planning in terms of picking the puppy, do a little education before you do that, and then prepare your living space and get the equipment you're gonna need ahead of time. Areas of inclusion, areas of isolation, uh, different types of crates, all the appropriate chews, toys, leashes, collars, harnesses, all the things that we're gonna use. And then puppy proofing your house, like getting ready ahead of time, getting in there uh, and making sure, just like toddler proofing, take your glass figurines off your coffee table, take that ganglion of crazy electrical cords that comes out from the computer and runs across your living room floor and <laughs> pick that up, get it out of the way, et cetera, so that your puppy can't just crash around and get in trouble. Take the rat poison out of the closet or wherever the heck you have it, all that kind of stuff. So it's kind of common sense, it should be relatively common sense things to make your life easier. Setting up for good housebreaking routines. It's nice if you have an outside area as well as an inside area. Not everybody will have this, but it's certainly useful. If you have an outside area we can go, decide where you're gonna want the puppy to go to the bathroom, all those kinds of basic things to prepare ahead of time. And then when you bring the puppy home initially, for me, uh, when, when they're coming in and you're introducing them to the space, it'll depend, be somewhat dependent on uh, the work your breeder or somebody did ahead of time. So has your puppy had any crate training, period? Have they been in a crate before? Or did they just get yanked out of the litter? Or did you just pick them up from the shelter and they've never been in a crate before? What, it, what that's gonna inform it as well. And so from my perspective, if I'm getting a puppy from a breeder, I'm hoping that they did some crating stuff before the puppy left. It's not always the case, of course. So many breeders, it's labor intensive to start separating puppies. We do it ahead of time. So before the puppies are going home, the last couple of weeks, I'm, we're crating them in twos and threes for short periods of time. They're going on car rides, they're eating in crates, and then gradually feathered down till they've spent a little bit of time individually in crates. And that makes it way easier for them as they go forward. But many people don't. Puppy's been sleeping with brothers and sisters for eight weeks in a pile and they haven't been in a crate, and somebody goes, pew, pew, stuff, and see ya, and you go. And so there can be varying degrees of screaming, yelling, fits, and that kind of stuff. So that's gonna be a big part of it. If my puppy hasn't been in a crate, I'm gonna bring the puppy home. You're gonna do all the things we talked about in terms of introducing the crate, running in out for treats, controlling energetics, winding that puppy down before you put them in. Uh, into the crate, giving them stuff to chew on, potentially covering them, potentially, potentially buying earplugs, things like that, right? So that you can get through those early crate training things. I don't do a lot of formal training when I first bring a puppy home, so I'm not so concerned with starting to charge my markers or lure the puppy around or any of that kind of stuff. I do a little bit of just relationship building to begin with. I might show the puppy how to take food out of my hand. Uh, I'm gonna show the puppy the space and get him comfortable. Um, I'm gonna, through protected contact, have the puppy see my other dogs coming and going and things like that, but not necessarily go right up and play with them. So I get an idea of, is my puppy scared of that kind of stuff? And, and I'm gonna sort of just gradually integrate it. And usually the puppy's home uh, a week or so before I really start worrying about training issues as I bring the puppy in. It's more like, okay, get comfortable with space, get to know me, start to like me, all that kind of stuff. I'm also reading the puppy in this period of time. We're getting an idea of what my puppy's like What's it afraid of? What's it not afraid of? How much does it like being touched and handled and all that kind of stuff? Uh, how motivated is it? Like if I wave something around, does it want to chase it? If I got food, does it, has it ripped the ends of my fingers off? Or is it like, eh, I'm not sure about that. A lot of puppies, when they leave the litter or younger dogs like that, haven't necessarily had anybody do any training stuff. And they may not know how to take food from your hand. It's not uncommon. I have puppies that have been fed in bowls and on the ground and things. And the first time you have food in your hand and you let them smell it, they start running around sniffing the ground. Like they're like, food's down there, it's not in somebody's hand. And so you may go through all those basic things and you get an idea of what your puppy's like, meaning where you're gonna start to put your energy. Pretty quickly, in the first few days, I start my field trips. I do not put off the socialization at all, right? And so that means habituating my puppy to the equipment that I'm gonna use when I have them out in the world. My puppy doesn't necessarily need a leash off when they're in my, leash on them when they're in my house, but I either get them used to their harnesses get them used to a collar and leash, so there's a whole habituation process where they get used to that. I have them wear the collar, wear the harness, drag a leash behind, do food stuff to get them used to those things so that I can start taking them out into the world to socialize them, 
and then all the socialization guidelines. And with puppies, I try to take them a lot of different places. It's useful to kind of plan a socialization regime so that you're making sure you're getting out to a variety of different places and seeking out different kinds of experiences.